I'll start by throwing some rocks in there, just in case there's rattlesnakes. Let them know we're coming. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think you'd be horrified if you could see what I'm doing with the company I'm keeping because it's almost scaring me. <laughs> but I can't film it because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to die out here alone. If anyone can tell me what this formation is, it's almost like a, a calcium deposit, like you would see around a spring that's ancient. Okay, so we finally made it out of the, that was the canyon we just came down. We made it out of it and we're down to the river, which is a nice little river. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I hope we're in the right river. I was actually expecting to be some, it to be something we couldn't get across. But what we're going to do, you see that far hillside over there, the river curves that way. And we're going to keep following it until we get to another canyon, just like the canyon we came down. Follow that canyon up a ways and we should hit the road that I turned around on. Um, when we were first uh, first got down here and I left the truck now, hopefully we have enough time We do have four hours, so I suspect we will uh, But if we don't we'll have to just make a cold camp tonight <laughs> And uh, I'm not gonna chance the water I actually brought water with me uh, But I think we'll be okay, but we have to get a move on well I had a beautiful signal that I thought was for sure was gonna be a gigantic chunk of gold maybe as big as an ostrich egg Dug down all the way to the bottom <laughs> and I got a can. Ah, need to, I guess I need to get out of the sandy area, huh? That's those kind of areas I tell you never to dig in, especially behind uh, rocks and logs where it creates low pressure. So all the light stuff kind of swirls around during floods and settles right here, cans included. So I was kind of looking around on the, like the bedrock here for little nuggets and stuff. I didn't really find anything. So I was getting ready to head back that way, so head up river, and I just discovered something pretty cool. Not with a metal detector, but with my own eyes. Look at these rocks. You know what that is? And that and that. These are areas where the Indians would grind um, like nuts and corn and things like that to make flour. There's three of them here. And it's funny, I didn't even notice that in the beginning. There's a bunch of them up there, three up there. There's a couple here. So this little area right in here is where they would hang out and do their food preparation, which tells me that there was certainly a settlement here somewhere. Now there's a flat bench right there. We might just walk over there just for the heck of it and look at it. But we do need to start to skedaddle up that way. But let's go look at these uh, deep ones. I haven't even looked at these yet. For me, this is really, I mean, probably not as cool as finding a giant nugget, but um, still pretty cool. Isn't that neat? All right, I kind of walked around that bench, upper bench, uh, where I thought there might be some type of habitation area. I'm not really seeing that. Um, I did scan it for nuggets too, because you can see there's lots of good little rocks and stuff in here. Um, there could be some of that chert could be worked. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything it tells me it was for sure. So here's a tip to a point of some sort. It could be a little spear point or a knife blade or just hard to say really but it's definitely the stabby part of it <laughs> well i guess we better jump back on the other side while we can because it's definitely getting bigger something was doing some digging there hope it wasn't old sam squinch <laughs> yep all right is it human i don't reckon could be a sam squinch though all right keep going up river god look at the big old broken bones everywhere here and we should hit that road or the canyon that we need to walk up at least. Might not actually be a road, but the canyon. I just checked the map, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> I think we went the right direction back there. That's the canyon right there we need to go up. So, man, beautiful water here, huh? But I was looking over there. That looks like an old mine. See, it's like timbers coming out of the hill. We have to go check that out. Um... Now, I won't go in something like that because I'm by myself, but we certainly can look at it. And maybe check the tailings there. Tailings being the rocks they took out to see if there's any gold in it. Man, it's a really cool place. I like this. I'll get you out to look at this. I'm not sure if this is an actual shaft or not. Probably is. It might actually be a mine on top of this. Well, this is definitely something. Okay, it didn't know. He might have, I don't know. That rock coming down over there looks like it's probably 
and dug out of mine too. Before I go, um, I don't know if I pointed out, but those are like mine, the timbers for the mine, and there's tin. So something was definitely going back in there. You can see the verticals right there. But I noticed around the side, there's a piece of wood up higher than that. So that means there's something above us. So maybe we'll scoot up this way a little bit together. See how this, this wood shouldn't be up here. Uh, so that means there's something going on on up the hill. Add there's some more tin. There's definitely something up here. Maybe that's it. Oh gosh. Wow. Look at the shaft. You see why I get out of breath so easy. Alright, let's take a look at this. Check for rattlesnakes. <laughs> oh wow. Dude. Alright. Let me catch my breath and we'll talk. I just want to show you where we're at. See, the phone's tracking me. It tracked me right up the side of the hill, that blue dot. I'm going to go into this mine and just check it out real quick. I'm going to leave my phone outside. Um, so if I don't show up in a couple of days, they can figure out where my last reading was on the GPS. And I know they can do that. The technology exists because uh, one of my friends is a police officer and... Uh, they can, they, can, they can tell where you go, when you stop, how long you stay there, <laughs> how many times you stop, what you bury on the side of the road. They can go find that. So uh, they'll know where I'm at. So I'll leave the phone outside just in case anyway. Of course, battery will be dead, but they'll know where it was last. All right, what do you say? Let's check it out real quick. I'm going to start by throwing some rocks in there just in case there's rattlesnakes. Let them know we're coming. <laughs> All right, let's go. I want to bring the metal detector so I can scan the walls a little bit. Check those snakes in there. That's the only thing I worry about. Look at the roof, looks a lot better. But I guess I'll turn my flashlight. I'm not going to go in too deep, but we'll go in a little bit. See what's going on here? Yeah, it doesn't actually look like it goes too deep. I would have thought it would have connected with the other one, but it doesn't appear to. I must have seen that looks a little Top looks good though. See this uh, thing's mice in here too, so we got to watch out for snakes. I don't see any slithering around, but I'm going to run my metal detector over the ceiling a little bit and some of these uh, little veins in there, see if I get any readings. But I don't think I'm going to because if I did, they would have been in here digging more. All right. We'll be out in a minute, I promise. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit scary, but not too bad. Looking across the river, that's the first mine. Then we went up the hill to the second one we actually crawled in. And if you look in that ravine, there's a lot of that... Um, uh, mine waste coming down the ravine. So there's another one up in there too. We're not going to go to it uh, today. <laughs> I want to make sure we get back to camp before dark. But, you know, I'll probably hang out here all day tomorrow. So we may wander back this way. All right, let's get a move on. Hen's egg of gold. Of course, they could have been looking for bauxite for all I know. <laughs> or, or talc or something. <laughs> I'm getting near to the end of my search area today. Is that canyon wall. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of rocks in here. And I'm zigzagging around looking for gold nuggets, not finding any. We're going to go back down on the other side and go up the canyon. Hopefully they get to the truck before dark, which I don't think would be a problem. I did want to show you this weird purple rock. It actually gives a reading. You know, it's an irony reading, but... You know, if it was uh, like gold sound, I'd be smashing on that puppy. Uh, no idea what that is, though, but it's kind of... It's purple. I don't see any others like it. And it's got... Uh, some kind of metal in it i think i might come back tomorrow and smash it with a hammer okay a few more minutes and uh well that'll be it <laughs> looks like some weather's moving in too i don't want to get trapped down here if it starts raining if you look at the debris up on these rocks that's from floods coming down there's a river and it gets up that high so we do need to be careful of that because if it's raining 50 miles upstream and not here it can still flood I was taking some close-ups of this rock and I can see something looks like gold. <laughs> Probably pyrite, but I don't have my glasses. Uh, down in here, that looks, see how it's kind of gold looking? It's probably just pyrite, like I said, but yeah, I might come back tomorrow with a hammer and break that open. Take a closer look at it. I'll try to break that off tonight, though, with a rock or something. Just want to share that with you. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now since I'm down to just a few percent on the battery. I'm actually heading up the uh, canyon, going back up to the top to get to the truck. That's the canyon in the sunlight, and we are ready to roll in 
Tonight is definitely an adult beverage night. We'll see you on the next one, I hope. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady.